Hello friends, welcome to A to Z industry. This video focuses on important MCQs related to gingival enlargement. True leukemic gingival enlargement commonly occurs in acute leukemia, chronic leukemia, both of the above, none of the above. Acute leukemia. True leukemic gingival enlargements commonly occurs in acute leukemia. Which of the following is not a conditioned gingival enlargement? Plasma cell gingivitis, pregnancy gingivitis, vitamin C deficiency gingival enlargement, sarcoidosis gingival enlargement. Sarcoidosis gingival enlargement. It is not a type of conditioned gingival enlargement. Diffuse gingivitis includes marginal gingiva, marginal and papillary gingiva, marginal papillary and attached gingiva, marginal papillary attached and alveolar gingiva. Marginal papillary and attached gingiva. Which of the following type of gingival enlargement includes attached gingiva? Idiopathic gingival enlargement, conditional gingival enlargement, inflammatory gingival enlargement, enlargement due to systemic conditions. Idiopathic gingival enlargement. Bogey gum seen in pregnancy, leukemia, polycythemia, both A and B. Both A and B. Bogey gum seen in pregnancy and leukemia. Important factor responsible for initiation of conditioned gingival enlargement. Trauma, hormonal changes, bacterial plaque, all of the above. Bacterial plaque. Which of the following bacteria predominates in puberty gingivitis? S. mutants, P. intermedia, A. A. committants, none of the above. P. Intermedia. Provertella intermedia predominates in puberty gingivitis. When the gingival enlargement covers three quarters of the crown, it is called as grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. Grade 3. In grade 0, there is no gingival enlargement. In grade 1, gingival enlargement confined to interdental papilla. In grade 2, Gingival enlargement involves papilla and marginal gingiva. In grade 3, enlargement covers 3 quarters of the crown. The drug induced gingival enlargement is usually more severe in the maxillary anterior region, mandibular posterior region, maxillary posterior region, edangulus region. Maxillary anterior region. Which of the following drug associated with gingival enlargement? Phenytoin, cyclosporin, nifedipine, all of the above. All of the above. All these drugs associated with gingival enlargement. The gingival enlargement caused by which of the following drug is dose dependent? Cyclosporin, nifedipine, ethotoin, all of the above. Cyclosporin. Dilantin hyperplasia is treated with gingivectomy, gingivoplasty, flap surgery, curettage. Gingivectomy. Dilantin hyperplasia treated by gingivectomy. Gingival enlargement in pregnancy termed as periodontal abscess, angiogranuloma, gingival abscess, Wegner's granulomatosis. Angiogranuloma. Gingival enlargement in pregnancy termed as angiogranuloma. In drug-induced gingival enlargement, hyperplasia occurs in connective tissue, epithelium, both of the above, none of the above. Both of the above. In drug-induced gingival enlargement, hyperplasia occurs in both epithelium and connective tissue. Gingival abscess involves marginal gingiva, interdental gingiva, Attached gingiva, both A and B. Both A and B. Gingival abscess involves marginal gingiva and interdental gingiva. Okay, it's all about the topic gingival enlargements. See you with a new video. Thank you.